Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to talk to you briefly about backing up your Raspberry Pi. The Pis run on micro SD cards, and those cards have a limited number of read and write cycles. Eventually, they will fail, so backing them up is critical. Hey, before we get started, though, I want to give a shout out to Don Coker for becoming my very first patron over on Patreon. I'll leave a link to Patreon if you'd like to support the channel down in the description below. All right, so what you're going to need for this is a USB SD card reader and a spare micro SD card. Uh, I picked up uh, this one over on Amazon. Uh, they're dirt cheap, $7.77 is what it's showing me today. Uh, and you can see I picked up, actually this was my second one back in January. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. But let's go ahead and pop that USB adapter into the computer. All right, so when you first insert that USB adapter, you'll get a little pop-up box like this. Now this is a card I've already used for a backup. So we'll hit cancel here twice, uh, in my case, it may be once or twice. Uh, and you can see that it's mounted that drive right here. Uh, now the cool thing about this, you don't have to worry about doing unmounts or any of that before you write uh, to this card. The software will take care of all of that for you. So we want to come up to our Pi symbol, come down to Accessories, and click on the SD card copier. All right, in the Copy From device, we've got two different uh, selections here. This one is going to be my internal SD card that I'm actually operating from right now. And the Copy To device will be this SD card reader. So we click that. And I go ahead and tell it to assign a new part partition UUID. Uh, it just gives it a unique identifier. Make sure you don't have duplicates. Uh, and then that's it. Go ahead and click the start button and you're off to the races. It does ask you, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to erase all the content. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's what I want to do. We'll go ahead and click yes. The cool thing about using this tool versus some of the Windows tools and things like that, you can actually copy from different uh, size SD cards. So with uh, like Windows, I believe it's WinDisk Imager 32 or something like that. If you've got a 16 gig card you've got that you've uh, made an image of, you've got to write that back to a 16 gig card. As long as you've only got say like four or five gigs on a 16 gig card, you can actually write this uh, to an eight gig card instead. So that can uh, come in handy at times as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, kind of short today. But we will see you guys uh, on the next one. Got some fun things coming up. All right, until then, 7-3.